continuing the series of weekly contest 286 this come there comes a third question in the list find palindrome with fixed length here in this question we are given an integer length that represents the length of the palindromic numbers that are to be generated we have a queries array we need to return the query ith element of smallest positive palindrome as per the queries array if no such palindrome exists we need to return minus one in those cases let's try and understand it by an example here the queries are is given to us as one two three four five ninety the length of the palindromic string should be three we need to identify the first smallest palindromic string of length three that will come out to be one zero one the second one would be triple one the third one will be one two one fourth one will be one three one fifth one will be one four one and the 90th one will be triple nine nine triple nine here they have also provided us with an, another example i'll be walking you through these examples as well as the algorithm by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it lead code 2217 find palindrome with fixed length it's a pattern identification question slightly unusual but if you are able to identify the pattern you'll be able to come up with the approach so let's get down to the basics here i have depicted two strings one of even length palindrome one of odd length palindrome and just to revise the concept of palindromic string it will be split at the middle point so we will have a b followed by b a these are two mirror images of each other similarly for the odd length palindrome this element c could be anything we'll have a string as a b c b a again it will be mirror image at the middle point so when you take the mirror image of a b you will get b a and that is what lies in the right segment of your string i hope this concept is clear to you now let's get back to the question so let's take the same example that was specified in the question we have the queries areas 2 4 6 the length of the palindromic string should be 4 that means it will lie in the range of 1000 up till 4 times 9 so the naive approach that comes to everybody's mind it's out, out there is you start generating numbers starting from 1000 up till 4 times 9 and you check uh, whether the current number happens to be palindromic in nature or not if it is then you add it to a list and then you use the queries array to check the second fourth and sixth palindromic string present in your palindromic list that you have generated this approach would be highly time expensive and will not pass in the contest is there something extra that we can do the answer is yes so let's try and evaluate and try to search out for a pattern that may exist in your palindromic strings so let's get started in the question it is specified that the palindrome will have length 4 so what we are interested in we are interested in identifying this ab part and once we have this ab part what we can do we can reverse this ab part and append it to the left part and generate the entire palindromic string so if we are able to identify this left part the generation of palindromic string is pretty simple you can simply reverse the left part R L and you can add it to your left part and generate your palindromic string. So the formula becomes something like this generating the left part plus reversing it and generating your palindromic string. Now comes the question how can we appropriately generate this left part given the set of information that we have. So in the question it is specified that the total length would be of 4. So what do we do? We divide it by 2 because we are interested in identifying the left part. When we divide it by 2 what do we get? We get Two. now comes the question what is the range of two digit number it starts from 10 goes up till 99 because you all of you will agree that you cannot have two digit numbers beyond 99 and we will be exploiting this information to generate palindromic strings so we have one uh, let's start building palindromic strings starting from one up till eight and you will see a pattern here so the first string that we will use is 10 and when reversed you will get 0 1 this becomes your first palindromic string next we have 11 when reversed you will get 11 and this becomes your seven, second string next we reverse it you get 1 2 2 1 the next you get 1 3 3 1 next you get 1 4 4 1 next you get 1 5 5 1 next you get 1 6 6 1 next you get 1 7 7 1 and this is our 8th string of size 4 now comes the question can we generalize this up so this here you can see a straightforward pattern that, that we started generating numbers from 1 up till 8 
can we use these queries indexes to directly generate the palindromic strings the answer is yes how let me just tell you a trick and let me just change the color of pen so let's use green so you see here the first query value happens to be 2 that means we are interested in this one so how can we generate 11 the problem reduces to generating 11 corresponding to 2 it's simple you use the left bound what is our left bound it's 10 what is the query value 2 and then we subtract 1 from it so what do we get we get 11 this left part is generated our work is done now let's proceed ahead next we see is 4 so let's use the four, same formula the, what is the lower bound lower bound is 10 10 plus 4 minus 1 what do you get you get 13 so our work is done we have appropriately identified the left part as 13 let's proceed ahead next we see is 6 so corresponding to 6 what do you get 10 plus 6 minus 1 it happens to be 15 and the left part is generated you can moving uh, moving ahead you can generate the entire palindromic string which is 1551 so as per this algorithm it's it seems really straightforward uh, you use the base you add the query value subtract one from it and you generate the left part once you have generated the left part you reverse it up and then generate your palindromic string pretty simple and straightforward no rocket science now comes the problem how can you generate this particular range of elements it's again very simple so what formula can i use i can use 10 raised to power what is the half length the half length is 2 2 minus 1 to generate my left bound so this will give you your left bound which is 10 raised to power 2 minus 1 is 10 how can you generate your right bound so right bound would be equal to 10 raised to power 2 minus 1 which will give you 100 minus 1 which is 99 now we have appropriately identified all the numbers that will lead to palindromic strings and the range here is 10 up till 99 now comes the last trick wherein let's assume you are asked to return the thousandth palindromic string of size 4 obviously it will not exist as a result of which you are sure that the answer should be minus 1 how can we quickly identify this up using the left bound and the right bound range we are sure that we'll, we can only use these many elements for generating the palindromic strings of length 4 and what will be their count in total how many strings can be generated it's simple right minus left plus 1 so what do you get 99 minus 10 plus 1 gives you 90 that means you can at max generate 90 palindromic strings of length 4 and whenever you see that your query string query value is beyond 90 you simply return minus 1 in those cases as a one possible corner case so do keep this in mind and rest everything is pretty simple and straightforward you have successfully identified the left part and we then we use this formula left plus reverse left to generate the palindromic string to summarize things up let's quickly walk through the coding section in the first go what have i done i have identified the half palindromic length which will be given by int length plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by uh, for handling odd length cases then i go ahead and identify the range uh, l will give us the left bound that was 10 in the equation and r will give us the right bound that is 99 and the formula is again the same that i highlighted in the presentation moving ahead once i have identified the left and the right bounds what do I do? I, ident I iterate through the queries array and for each query I will be generating the palindromic string. Even before doing that I identify the total count of palindromic strings that can be generated. It would be equal to left minus right plus 1. If my query value is less than equal to query co total count that means we can generate such possible string otherwise the answer would be minus 1. Now comes the question how can we generate the palindromic string? We go and check the left half it would be given by l plus q minus 1 it's again the same formula that i stated in the presentation once i have the left half i reverse it up and add it to my total string so i get the right half then i go ahead and add left half plus right half now you'll ask me what is this why are we doing dot substring int length by 2 this is for handling the odd length cases since we have to omit the middle part while we are appending the right half and the left half together because it should not be duplicated the middle point in my left part should not be duplicated in case of odd lengths this is the reason 
and once I'm done with this, I simply return the answer array. So let's try this up. Incompatible love the exception int in total count. This should be long. Yeah. Awesome. Accepted. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.